hey everybody let me know who's here comment below so I can know who's here uh, I'm trying to do this every Saturday from 7 to 7 30 I don't know who's in here comment below let me know who's in here for all I know it's my family how do you know if you need to put Epsom salt on your plants Octiva um, hope you're doing well and I appreciate you being here hey mom so typically you need you know you need to put some salt when your plant leaves are yellow that's a good indication uh, Deborah hope you're doing well I appreciate y'all being in here I really do uh, but yeah typically that's what that means it's a good indication that you need to have some salt when your leaves are yellow especially when it comes down to tomato plants comes down to cucumbers that's typically the thing so quick question for y'all since y'all I got 10 of y'all in here the question is this is how did you know I was live did you see my calendar that I posted on all my social media platforms or did YouTube let you know I went live which one was it because I'd love to know comment below let me know comment below let me know did just YouTube let you know I was live or um or did you just see? No, I was going to be on at 7.30 based off of the schedule we posted everywhere. All right, nobody's talking. Okay. Fair enough. Octiva, you here? Did you, uh, did I answer your question for you? I just want to make sure I'm not fading in and out, too. Make sure I got full service, too. Okay. Y'all just going to stare at me the whole time, huh? Hey, everybody that's just joined. I don't know if y'all saw, but I posted a whole schedule of when I'm going live across all platforms. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, you name it. I posted that all on Instagram and on TikTok. I don't think I posted it on here. I'm going to have to. Um, just in here just to answer a couple questions before I go live on TikTok. And um, see if I can help any of y'all. Octiva asked earlier, what, uh, how does she know to put Epsom salt on her plants? And I said mainly you need to do that whenever their leaves are turning yellow. Especially if it's on cucumbers and tomatoes. Those are the two that I would recommend just doing that with in the first place. So, how many of y'all got questions? And how many of y'all just sit here just to look at me and not even ask me anything? Um, and I'm, I'm here for another 10 minutes. I'm here for another 10 minutes. Then I'm going to roll live on uh, on TikTok. So, ask me everything you can. Texas, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go live on TikTok very soon. Part of me going live here on YouTube is so I can build a connection with all you guys on YouTube to don't follow me on TikTok. And uh, hopefully y'all can kind of get the same experience that I got, um, that I give everybody else uh, on TikTok and on Instagram. I don't know really how TikTok, uh, how YouTube works um, just yet when allowing, you know, y'all to watch me live. I don't, I haven't figured all that out. I know how TikTok works and I like it because it'll, let everybody know it'll also um you know allow more people to find me and that kind of thing and i don't necessarily think youtube is set up that way um but deborah so youtube lets you know that's great that's great um uh, deborah have you got any plants for me by chance i know texas sweetheart does i know my mom sees my plants all the times um but i, I usually usually like to know who's who's watching me and my question for me is how do you know when squash is ready very simple they you basically know because they just keep coming off the off of the plant hand over fist uh but the, the real the real answer is you want to pull them about when they're out the size of your hand you don't want them to get any bigger so about the time they fill up the whole palm of your hand everything else go ahead and break them off don't matter 
it don't matter. I wish I could have grown some more squash this year, um, but typically how it works when you start growing squash, you start having to give it away when you start growing it because you just get so much of it. But uh, yeah, typically that's what you do. Hey everybody, that's just, just joining. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this live every Saturday from 7 to 7.30 to answer your questions, answer your gardening questions. Um, try to build a relationship with you guys that's on here. And this is what I do near about every day on TikTok. Try to go live on TikTok near about every day. So, if you don't remember what you need to ask me, you can always email me. You can always wait till the next Saturday because my wife is uh, making sure I'm sticking to my schedule. Uh, she literally came and ran and got me. She said, it's 7 o'clock. You need to go, go, go. So she's making me hold to the schedule. So every Saturday, 7 to 7.30, you can expect to see me here live. But if you got a question and you can't wait to get an answer, you can always email me. I always answer everybody's questions. Or my wife will ask me what she needs to say back to you guys. If you don't know, and y'all are in here, more than likely you don't really know um, that I sell plants. The whole purpose of my whole YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram <coughs> channels is to let everybody know, hey, I sell plants. And yes, you get my phone number. I've got one person in here that can vouch for that. Um, Texas sweetheart lives in Texas. I live in North Carolina. She bought some plants from me, and she needed my help. She got my number. I walked her right through it. Uh, if something's wrong, I can help fix it. And that kind of stuff. How can I figure what insect is eating the leaves of my black eyed peas? And sunflowers. Papa Rock, what's happening? Any way to figure it out? Honestly, I have no experience in growing black eyed peas. And my mom would probably appreciate it if I did. However, uh, usually what's eating your plants it's something you can't see. Something so small, you can't see it. Um, and I don't really have an answer of what goes after after black eyed peas. It may be an insect I've never heard of. So I really don't have an answer today, but I will maybe try to find that out. But again, I have no experience growing those. I mainly grow fruit and a couple of odd end vegetables and stuff like that. Lounging in the pool. That must be nice. I'm going to try to hit up the pool later on Papa Rock. So, Joe, did you get my answer on YouTube notified? Oh, YouTube notified you. Okay. John said that. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all are telling me this because I really don't know how it works. I would imagine, though, with, I think I got 32,000 people on here that follow me. I thought it would be flooded, maybe, if it worked the same way as TikTok. Anyway, I keep going like this right here so I can see how many people is in here. Um, what about your little watermelon? So, Octavia, you want to know how to make a large, large watermelon? Is that what you want to know? Because I know the answer to that. Um, I need to know why my watermelon is not growing. So, here's one of two things that your watermelon's not growing. The first thing is maybe lack of nutrients. The second thing, which is probably what I think it is, is I'd be willing to bet you there's multiple watermelon on that same vine. So if you want a bigger watermelon, you gotta pull off all the smaller, all the smaller uh, melons. Ty, what's happening? There's only one T Sawyer. It's either Ty or Tyler. And I still ain't forgot you about making those planter boxes if this tie. I'm just running around with my head cut off right now. So, good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, should I put the vine on the ground and not have it trellis up? 
I kind of would lay it all, all out, just so you know. Every that watermelon gets, it ain't good for it. If that's what you want to know. So, I appreciate 16 of y'all being in here. It's a lot more I can keep in uh, lives here lately. So, it must be old Tyler that's in here if he saw me today. This is a rare sighting, too. I usually dream Mount Dew. Wait for, I'm waiting for Mount Dew to sponsor me, y'all. I'm waiting for it. Um, I sent him a message yesterday, as a matter of fact. I saw one of their ads popped up. And I said, why don't you get somebody to sponsor somebody that drinks your product every single day? Small space plants, please. What do you want to know about small space plants? I got a bunch of them. Top hat blueberry bush. This blueberry bush gets two feet tall. And it really grows out. So basically, it will turn into... You know, two foot all the way around. That's what you want to know. Um, so, yeah. That's a good one. Especially if you want to grow blueberries. Chuck cranberry hibiscus you can grow in containers. Longevity spinach. That's a good small space plant. And you can't kill it at all. Um, lemongrass is another one. Just depends on what you want. Are you wanting edible plants or you want real plants? What ones do I recommend? Well, it just depends on what your goal is. It really does. It really just depends on your goal. Um, it really does. Everybody's got different goals. My goal was to literally grow as many blackberry bushes as possible so my children couldn't eat as many as I could grow. That has worked. Um, but everybody's got different goals. I grow a very small amount of herbs. I, I grow mint and I grow basil. That is the extent of it, and oregano. And that is to the extent of it. Love your container garden, and it makes me regret building planter boxes. So Tracy, I'm so glad you said that. I don't know what my neighbors really think when they drive by and see the containers out in the middle of the road, but I can tell you this. I have one raised bed for a basically a raised garden bed and it is a disaster I can tell you I've grown things in containers now for two years I pretty much feel like I'm an expert at it that said um, what I like most about them you don't have to worry about a dog peeing on your garden, especially if you have animals. You don't have to worry about a deer doing the same thing or whatever. You don't have to worry about anything really getting into them. Uh, they're out of reach of most pests. Like a rabbit could come right and, and snatch one of your tomatoes right off the stuff. And that's not the case with the, those containers. They're so tall up, it takes, it takes a special, special... Um, animal to really get to it like a deer or something like that who might be interested in it so you're welcome Deborah. so yes tracy i'm glad john says i dreamed about ray charles last night <laughs> he sees how a wicked tub works it's priceless all right so let me tell you the strategy on that video let me tell you the strategy on that the strategy on that it's very simple. I could have said, what, Stevie Wonder, right? But I know nobody would have watched the video. And so, everybody would have been like, oh, that's just me. And they may not have even said that, but there would have been a lot of people that would correct me about Ray Charles saying, Ray Charles is dead. He can't see anyway. And that's kind of what I was hoping for when I made that video. Trying to get a lot of interaction out of people. So Texas Sweetheart says black IP plants get eaten by seven bugs. Aphids, bean beetles, corn, cow pea, leaf hoppers, spider mites, and I guess thrips. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And that is awesome to know because I really don't know. 
And that's the whole purpose of what I do. Uh, I kind of like having the community I have because there's a lot of things I don't know. Because, again, I only grow a certain amount of things. Uh, there's a lot of other gardeners that know a lot of other answers. I can just tell you stuff uh, that I know uh, works. And most of the time it works for all plants. Not, not necessarily all of them, but for a good majority of them. So, uh, Mama Budget says, I want to grow edible that can move from inside to out. Okay, so if that's what you want to do, oregano is a good one. Lemongrass is a good one. Green onions is a good one. Um, you could do the top hat blueberries. You can also do uh, purple sweet potato plants. All that stuff. You can kind of keep inside and move them outside wherever you want to. That's all the stuff I have on hand anyway that I, that I know works that way. Yeah, <laughs> Texas sweetheart. Listen, it happens to the best of us. Gardening is just trial and error. It really is. Um, I wish it was all everything works for everybody and that's not the case what works for me may not work for you but i can tell you this much if it works for me more than likely you can bet everything that it works for you because i couldn't keep nothing alive but then again i never really tried either um so that's what i can tell you without a doubt um no doubt if it works for me it more than likely will work for you so hopefully that answers your question mama budgets i thinking back on it y'all y'all don't even understand i came from a place where i planted stuff just because i wanted to plant it in the ground and then i realized wait a minute this probably won't the best place to put it so then I had to figure out how to keep it alive after I moved it. And the whole process, it was just a whole process. And then, all right, well now I gotta figure out my layout of where I want everything. And it's just a process. It does not, uh, everybody starts somewhere is what I'm gonna say. It did not happen overnight is what I'm gonna say. So, uh, my blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries did not bloom. Well, here's the thing. Just depends on how old they are and everything else. I can tell you that the ones behind me, the blackberry plants that are behind me, did not bloom any of my first year, and they barely gave me some my second year. However, I planted them in October. So they were literally growing 30 days till the frost hit them all this growth this year is going to give me my berries next year <coughs> so i expect to have more than i could ever handle next year i got a lot of different varieties uh what's happening halo uh, but anyway yeah, it's all just trial and error. Uh, but the plants really just need to get established. Just so you know. If you didn't know and you're just joining, if you ain't been here the whole time, I've got a pretty much set schedule now. My wife's gonna pretty much make sure I hand, make sure I am on schedule. And that is, I'll be on here from 7 to 7.30 on Saturday nights just so you know then if i'm not on here more than likely you can find me every night um on tiktok from like 7 30 to 8 i'm also going to try to move in instagram but if you go to instagram or maybe it's on our website i don't know uh you can see pretty much the schedule we had a schedule out there this past week for everybody to see What questions y'all have before I go? Because I'm going to get off in two minutes. And I know y'all might have had some questions. 
that uh, nobody's asking, which is fine. Nobody's got to ask anything. Hey, sea bass. You comment on all my videos, just so you know. And I appreciate it so much. I really do, and I've been meaning to tell you that. It is really me that goes through all the comments. Um, it is really me that, on the other end of the phone, if people buy plants from me. Um, it really is me uh, doing a lot of work every day. Between making videos and growing things. And I've done a lot less growing since July 4th. But I'm going to change that. I'm going to get a lot of stuff. I'm going to get a lot of stuff in my container so y'all can see a lot of good stuff. Heart Styles. Is the Primacane on Freedom's Blooming? They are right now. See, Bass, I appreciate it. Love your videos and shorts. You do work hard. I try to work hard. Problem is, I need y'all to ask more questions so I got more video ideas. That's really what it boils down to. And I kind of count on those now. And I know it sounds crazy, but I do. Because I've talked about a lot of things. If you really think about it, I've made one video a day, technically for six months. Yeah, Tyler, I guess I gotta grow pumpkins or something. Um, I appreciate y'all, y'all comment on my stuff right now. I'm trying to read every bit of it. But, you know, I, I count on those questions so much in those comments, especially on TikTok more than anything, because if it's on TikTok, I cross platform one of those videos. And, uh, yeah, so I basically, I count on those comments now. Um, that's the only way to keep my mind going. But I appreciate y'all watching all my stuff, really. So anyway, I guess, you said, I had two 20-pound grow bags of potatoes. Very poor return. Just depends on the variety sea bass. And I haven't gone over none of that stuff in any of my videos. Pontiac Reds give you the most if you're trying to grow things in grow bags. I love the red potatoes. And there's some people that would rather have the yellow potatoes. Yukon Golds. But Pontiac Red are really good for growing them in my containers. No, I'm not growing any watermelons, but appreciate it, Tyler. But here's the thing. I can tell you that in April and May here in North Carolina, the grocery store right down the road from us was selling watermelons for $10 a pop. $10. So if the prices of everything have grown, gone up so high next year, that I will be growing watermelons and selling watermelons. Oh yes, you can propagate longevity spinach very easily. Very easily, Texas sweetheart. Um, could you, if you have it, make a video on um, Sorry, I'm trying to do two million different things. Can I make a video walking us through how you transplant something? Not just telling us, but showing us. Well, that's the thing. I do a lot more telling these days uh, on those. That's what it seems like. I... Um, I do need to do a lot more showing. And that's what I think a lot of gardeners are doing now. Is they're doing a lot more telling instead of showing. And uh, basically that's what I need to do. Hey everybody, if you're just joining, I'm also live on, on YouTube. I'm also live now, y'all, from YouTube. I'm also live on TikTok. So I'm going to answer some questions everywhere. So... Um, 
What's the problem, soldier? No more. The problem is, so will everyone else. Hope y'all are all having a good Saturday over here. And I hope, um, uh, hope y'all are having a good, decent weekend and got, got some stuff accomplished today. I'm getting older by the second. I'm getting old. Wrinkles and everything. Standing in the sun, squinting all the time. That's what it'll do. Uh, hey, soldier no more. Uh, six o'clock in your area. 7.30 here where we're at. What questions you guys got? I know y'all probably got some questions. Maybe on blueberries. I just posted a blueberry video on TikTok. I'm going to post that as soon as I get off at 8 o'clock on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm getting that way. I'm getting that way, sea bass. Hope all y'all are doing okay. Anybody got any questions on some plants? Why you got me? Ain't that sun beautiful right behind me? I think so. Um... what else you got I hope I answered a lot of y'all's questions on YouTube for this last 30 minutes what all did you guys do today I know y'all in here what all did y'all do today comment below been storming in Kentucky apparently uh, what about with you guys what all have y'all done today y'all watch it rain anywhere or y'all just melted like I have here in North Carolina because it's been melting here I had to make sure my chickens were okay today and I had to make sure um, I had to make sure everything was taken care of. So Cheryl, your strawberries are not doing good. You have them in a planter box. They're just kind of stagnant. Lady Scott, hope you're doing well. Uh, Joseph, man, I am just so glad you're alive, man. I talk about you quite a bit in my lives. Glad you're alive. Uh, I know I got your phone number, but it's nice to it's, it's nice to see you pop in. Pulling weeds, head rain in the south. So Texas Sweethearts, cattle ranching, take care of ducks, sea bass, visit us with friends. Michigan finally has some nice weather. Community's down. Hey, aerobic kitty. You just ordered some blackberries and raspberries. Well, I hope you got them for me. I hope you got them for me. Smelting in Oklahoma, huh? Yeah, everybody tap that screen. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad all y'all did are doing well uh, and have somewhat nice weather. Did everybody see my blueberry video on TikTok that I dropped? Please tell me you did. I saw. Okay, I got a few orders today from Etsy. I, I didn't. I ain't got got many on my website, but I don't have raspberries listed on my website yet. Yeah, Joseph, I worry about you just because I I don't see you comment on my stuff. You must have taken TikTok off your phone. Because this is addicting, for sure. Why am I getting one okra on my plant? It will not grow unless you pick it. Typically, that's what spurs more okra to stop, start popping. When you start pulling off, another one will stop, start popping. I mean, that's just how it works. You can't get rid of it. Uh, I am legally not allowed on TikTok no, no more. Wow, that's a statement. You're watching me on YouTube also? Do you have two phones of Robot Kitty? What other questions y'all got? Now this, now, this is getting fun here. I'm going to have to get like four phones just so y'all know. Um, work made you take it off. Well, get you another phone. You'll put it on the iPad. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of uh getting more devices because i might have to do an instagram live too at the same time oh bugle mama's aerobic kitty hey hello uh you're on youtube only i'm watching from youtube good deal good deal well you know i don't go hardly live on youtube i'm trying to pump up all my platforms at one time uh, let's see here. What should I do with my thorns? Blackberry plants? 
You talking about they're not thornless? Oak Island's here. Nice. How we intolerant are... I don't know what you're talking about, Diane. I'm sorry. So you go to plant garlic for the first time in September, sea bass. Well, let me know if you put them in those containers I keep showing off. Everybody keeps asking, are they, do they do very well uh, in those containers? And I don't really have an answer. I'd be willing to bet you $100, $100 that they do. Um, appreciate all of y'all on here on TikTok. I'm also live on YouTube answering some questions. Um, if you got questions, ask me. But can we plant blueberries and raspberries now or what? Yes, you can plant them. I planted most of mine late, late, late last year in the, in the heat now, and they're still fine. Where can you get containers cheap? Know a friend who knows a friend. Uh, cattle farmers. What fall crops do I do? Sweet potatoes, Joseph. And I do those purple ones. Just purple is, is more healthy for you, just so you know. Hard Style says three plants a double gold raspberries last year for now have 90 plants yeah they'll multiply like no other they will multiply like no other um but sea bass i love raspberries too that's actually my daughter's favorite fruit is raspberries hands down and it's also sawyer 628's favorite fruit uh, that was in my youtube walmart 18 gallon totes or less than seven dollars if you can't find a farmer that's correct amy over here we're talking about my mineral tubs if you can't find them you can grow them in those storage containers and uh that's what they're there for you can grow them in those um what zone am i seven b i think that's it i'm like right on the line Right on the line. My guard soul's terrible. I want to feel it. Should I do one third peat moth black cow? You could. You definitely could. What size storage tote? I would try to find you a 20 gallon one. And you can find 20 gallon ones, storage totes. Yes. Hard style on YouTube says for $10 what handles. Okay. But if I'm you, I would go and take the time. Sam's Club does have them. They're like real heavy duty with the yellow tops. I would focus on those. My kid might not be okay. My kid is in there screaming right now and I hope he is okay. His mommy's with him though. So sea bass is in 6B. 6B. Well, you can grow a lot of things that I can grow here. What other questions y'all guys got? What other questions you guys got? I'm gonna have to get off here in about five minutes. I need to eat and everything else. Um, sorry I paused and everything else, y'all. I just heard a screaming kid inside. And it didn't sound like a normal scream. Uh, they are rectangle, and yes, it doesn't matter if they're rectangle. They don't have to be round containers. Um, so you've used a cheap 40-quart ones with success. Just once you fill them up, you can't move them. That's right. Uh, eventually though, Joseph is probably not going to last very long. Uh, so I recommend finding something that's real, real thick. Tasha, hi and bye. When is the best time to plant blueberries? Early spring or late fall? Papa Rock, appreciate you being here. You got me thinking of growing a berry plant. It has to be a container for me. That's all I've been trying to do. I'm trying to set up a whole row in my yard for this upcoming year for content of growing berries in those containers. I want to have literally everything I can possibly have in my stuff for next year. And that's kind of my thoughts. 
A lot of people doing those raised garden beds. A lot of people talk about their stuff. I plan on having an empire of containers for next year, just so y'all know. What's good to plant around this time? Now's the time to be planting your sweet potatoes if you're planning on doing them in containers. You also can do a late fall of potatoes, a late crop of potatoes. You just gotta pull everything before the first frost, just so y'all know. Uh, Amy. Uh, you have plenty of questions on blueberries and raspberries, and blackberries arrive. Zoning have a problem with your front yard? No, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm not in the city. I'm not in the city at all. What about tomatoes? What you want to know about tomatoes? You can grow those tomatoes in those containers. If you can, salt tubs for cheap, but it may not last long. That's right. So, sea bass, you're watching me on that too. It's super hot here in Poplar Bluff. I did yard selling today. What's good to plant around this time? <clears throat> those purple sweet potatoes, I know I keep saying them, but those purple sweet potatoes are like a tropical spinach. They're actually like a tropical sweet potato. They're actually like from Asia. They're called Myanmar variety. They love the heat. So I used to bring my tomatoes in during the winter. Well, I understand that. I used to try to keep them alive like, um, gosh knows, I can't even think right now. I used to pull off pieces of them that were, you know, about six to eight inches tall, stick them in water, and they re root. Um, and suckers. Gosh, no, I can't even think. I'm in Harnett County. Yep. Yeah, I'm not far from me at all here in Rocky Mount. Well, here's the thing, Mo and God. Uh, they can come tell me that this is uh, not okay. And the good thing is this. I got stuff in containers. I'll move it. That's what's so nice about all this stuff. So this guy on uh, on TikTok, y'all, was just saying, uh, you know, basically what the county think about all my containers and everything. Thing is, if they don't have a problem with it, I just move it to my backyard and get it out of the way. Did you acquire all this garden knowledge from your parents? I was self-taught, just so you know, the cheetah. I was self-taught in all this stuff. And I'll tell you why I was self-taught. Give you a long story in a real short period of time. I went to go buy my first blackberry bush, and it was an older gentleman, and he said, I told him I wanted 10, 10 blackberry bushes, I want 10 blueberry bushes, I want 10 raspberry bushes. The guy looked at me and said, I'd take your money, but I wouldn't be doing you any favors. And because he said that, he said, I'm only selling you one plant today. So he get, sold me a blackberry bush. He says, and you don't come back until you have multiplied this blackberry bush. So then I learned everything on my own. And then I went back to him after I had made 10 of them. And then I was hooked ever since. Wearing all my plant from you. You're learning all of it from me, Daniel. Well, I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm all self-taught. Um, all self-taught. But the guy basically told me uh, he'd take my money, but he felt like if I didn't learn how to grow all this stuff, it's just a waste of, waste of time. Q's in here. Q, what's happening? Um... So yeah, that's that's how it basically got started. But I started trying to grow all this stuff because my kids. And there's a little bit more to the story. But then after I started learning how to grow it, I said, you know, what? I wonder if people were actually buying this stuff because I'm interested in it. And that led me down another hole, and it's been spiraling ever since. Michelle, I appreciate you liking my TikToks. 
Cheetah, appreciate the comment. Yeah, Q, miss you, bud. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Joe's, if the tomatoes over winter okay, but I wouldn't bother trying to grow them inside unless you had lights. Yep. That's what I think, too. That's what I think. But, yeah, if y'all can, by the way, if you're watching all my co all my content, the only thing I could ever ask for you guys, if you don't buy a single plant from me, that's okay. You could help me by sharing, liking, favoriting, and commenting on every video. Just say, hey. Go into the video, say, hey. Just letting you know I'm okay. Just say that. I don't care. I just want to know. I want to see the same people over and over and over in all my videos. Because I want to know y'all are doing fine. Uh, TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, you have a way of getting lost. Uh, and I know y'all don't understand that, but I can... Michelle, as long as you don't change that picture on your on your um, account, I'm always going to remember that picture in my mind. And so, that's how my mind works. So, I always, always uh, look forward to seeing those same people pop up and... Uh, just basically in the in the journey with me and uh big time i'm doing well hope you are i uh, hope you're doing well it's been a day it's hot been burnt you see when my wrinkles show up bad that's because i've been outside i ain't that old i may look like it though now uh but yes so heroic kitty you saving up to buy from me jennifer i appreciate it no rain here today. Susan, how are you? So yes, anytime y'all see one of my videos, just like, favorite, go in there and say, hey, Colin. Uh, by the way, my name is Colin. Y'all probably just know me as Salty Acres. And it's two L's, not one. Hey, Blaine. Blaine over here, every time he comes in here, he says I need to arm wrestle somebody. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, when people drop in here, it's nice to know those faces every single time. Because uh, I actually got a relationship with every single bo body that's, that pops in here. Mrs. T is one. As long as she don't change her stuff, she's got about 200,000 followers. Y'all should go check her out. She's on TikTok. Um, she does a lot of gardening content. She posted something today. Uh, I'm going, I might just call her out on it. She posted several young content creators that have little following uh, that she likes watching. She didn't mention me at all, but I'm just going to say that while we're live here. And she was only talking about people with like 10,000 or less followers. I know. But if y'all don't know, maybe y'all should check out Mrs. T. Um, she's a good one. Uh, she's actually nice and down to earth, unlike some people on this app. Uh, question, have you ever grown pineapple before? Yes, I have big time. I can, you can grow them in five gallon buckets too. I might be bigger than you, but I don't have a lot of fall. I don't have a lot of people to get my lives. Sometimes I do, but I gotta be doing something. Um, uh, but anyway, what other stuff y'all got for me before I get off here? The next nine minutes I'm going to get off because I'm going to go inside and eat. I'm going to make sure my kids are okay because I heard a lot of screaming while I was out here. Um, everybody that's been on YouTube this entire time, thank y'all. Y'all don't even understand what y'all are doing. If you don't know, y'all, if you don't know my schedule... I'm going live on YouTube every Saturday night at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. I'm doing it for one whole hour, okay? Then from 7.30 to 8, I'm going live on YouTube that, or TikTok that same time. So it'll be a crossover live. So you can see everybody. You can see I'm going live on both platforms here. But uh, just a personal note, uh, I get watch hours on YouTube. So you can help me out by going on YouTube as well. Close to being monetized on there. 
Do you bring them inside during the wintertime? You're talking about my pineapple plants. You bring in pineapple plants during the wintertime, it's a must. They don't like, they hit the frost, it's over with. What's a good soil to grow your veggies? One half parts peat moss, one half parts black cow. Just so you know. Mrs. T, I'm not monetized yet. Don't say congratulations just yet. Uh, I would love to be monetized on there. Um, y'all all support me, and y'all don't even realize it just for watching me the entire time. Art Styles, I see your last comment. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I am close, so. Aerobic Kitty, thank you for being here. Yes, if you can all watch my stuff, share my stuff that's on YouTube as well, or just go watch it. Put it on, play it in the back background. That's perfectly fine, too. Uh, I do some more in-depth stuff on YouTube. Although, I will say... Uh, I've got to turn YouTube into a machine. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. I pretty much have got Instagram and TikTok figured out. But YouTube's a little different. YouTube's a little harder. It's a different kind of style of a video. Um, y'all know. I mean, y'all like TikTok. You're on TikTok. You like TikTok. If you're on YouTube, you really like YouTube. And so the whole thing is, is trying to figure out what works on YouTube. Yes, YouTube is hard. However, Mrs. T, if you post the same stuff on YouTube, you get a good get a good amount of reach. But I am I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I got 32,000 us on there. If you're wondering. And that's a lot. But I know some people that just post shorts on there. They just post shorts on there and they have hundreds of thousands of followers. Um, but I'm so close to being monetized on there, and, I, and I'm not even trying to let y'all know or feel sorry or good for me or whatever. It's just more like everything I'm doing, there's a reason behind it. And I can help you every step of the way with all your plant needs if you just know how to find me. And you can find me everywhere. But yeah, so what questions y'all got before I get off? Because you got me for five more minutes, and we're going to call it a day. YouTube does love less than 10 minute long videos. Most of my videos, all of my videos are less than 10 minutes. It's so hard for me to post a, a video that's longer than one minute here on TikTok. It's just so hard because it's a different kind of style. Why would blueberry leaves look burnt? When they start going dormant, that's what they do. Not necessarily, don't mean they are unaliving. I appreciate it, Mrs. T. Y'all power tap this thing for the next five minutes. Um, Michelle, appreciate it. But, um, hey, Jacqueline. But yeah, so, um, your blueberry bushes typically will get like that burnt red orange look to them come to fall especially the top hat variety and that's the top hat variety right here just so you know my instagram is salty acres nc just so y'all know i post a lot of um a lot more stuff on there yeah the uh, roots for blueberries spread out under the soil um maybe about a foot deep total Matter, no matter the size. Do Y'all want a discount code? Is that what y'all want? If you stuck around this long, y'all must want a discount code. Especially if you're on YouTube. So Michelle lives in Michigan. What blueberries would be the best? Lorenzo. That might be the case. Could, could be the case. But listen, just so y'all know, on YouTube... I typically, when and I go live, I typically give a discount code to get my plants. If you're wanting to grow blueberries in, in Michigan, you need to do the top hat variety. They only get two feet tall. They love the cold weather. And they give you your berries in August 
I'm waiting for a plane, plane to go over my head. They're right over here in the county. They have these little homemade planes. And we're like right here at the airport. Just so y'all know. Get ready, you're gonna see it go over trees. Right there it is. See this, see this plane? Right there, look, 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 there it is. YouTube, it's coming. There it is. That's a, literally like a little cheapo plane. Like a single engine. That's literally like in my backyard. That's a single seater plane, just so y'all know. Uh, yes, thank you for finding me on Instagram. So, um, yes, Michigan Top Hat Variety Blueberries. It is perfect there. They only get two feet tall. They're perfect for containers. Uh, yes, it's about gardening. Yes, it is. Uh, so, with all that said, uh, yes, Texas Sweetheart knows a lot, just so you know, Lisa. Uh, and I just got just subscribed from somebody on my, on my Instagram. So I appreciate it. I appreciate all of y'all being here. And if you don't already, go find me on Instagram. Typically, though, let me go back. Typically on YouTube, at the very end of the live, I give a discount code to my website or Etsy. Okay? But I have to have time to set it up. So I always say give me 15 minutes. So with that said, if you want blueberries or if you want blackberry bushes, David, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And you want a discount code. I want you to listen up. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'll give a 20% off code that's only, that only works on my website, okay? It only works on my website. Only website, not Etsy, on my website. Okay, with that said, in 15 minutes, you gotta give me 15 minutes to get it set up. Can everybody type in, in the comment section right now what I'm telling you the code is? All right. I'll tell you the code is Owen, which is my son, O-W-E-N, okay, 20. That is your 20% off code that works on my website. 20% off code that works on my website, okay. Salty Acres NC, code is Owen20 to get 20% off. Salty Acres NC. Yes, that right there. All, all the same lowercase, everything else. SaltyAcresNC.com. I have a very limited selection on there right now. Yes. Give me 15 minutes to get it active. If for some reason there's an issue, go to my Instagram or send me a message on here to get 20% off on my website. Okay? Um, and also, if you like my logo and all that stuff and want to support us, we got new shirts. Uh, and I don't typically promote my own products or, or shirts or nothing like that. But we got, we got some pretty cool shirts. And so, I've had my longevity spinach potted for nine days. They look amazing. And they should look amazing. Alright. So, go flood my website in 15 minutes. Owen 20 to get 20% off of blackberry bushes. Mrs. T, I appreciate you being here the whole time. Or blueberry bushes. Or I also have dwarf mulberry on there. Uh, I have tons of other plants that I've got a list on there. You can go check out my Etsy shop. And if you send me a message um, and want 20% off of those too, just send me a message. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here the whole hour. SaltyAcresNC.com is my website. And uh, if y'all need anything, my message, my message is on TikTok and email is always open. So I answer every question you got. All right. Anyway, y'all have a good night. And uh, looking forward to doing this on many more Saturdays.